my name is Yuan. Um, I am a coach here at Task Human. I'm a certified health coach as well as a certified medical exercise specialist. Um, I typically teach, I've been a lifelong martial artist. That's why we're doing martial arts based things. Um, so uh, I do, I have a black belt in judo, taekwondo, and I used to teach kickboxing at a now defunct company called LA Boxing. They were bought out by UFC gym. Um, so, uh, so today we're just going to do kind of three different phases. Um, we're going to do kind of a striking phase, a phase where it's kind of working on your explosiveness, and then also some, something we do a ground phase. Like I said, I'm a judo uh, person, black belt. Uh, so I did, we do a lot of groundwork similar to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Don't worry, we're not going to be doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's going to be hard to do without someone else. Uh, but uh, try your best. And also, if there's anything that makes you feel uncomfortable or painful, anything like that, feel free to stop. But do your best um, and yell at me if, if you can't hear me. Um, otherwise, I'll use my best big boy voice and let's go ahead and get started. All right? Okay. Let me move this back. I'm going to start my timer. So we're going to have minute breaks in between each of the rounds. We're going to go through four rounds of actual work, one warm up, three rounds of work. And then we're going to go into a short cool down. So for now, I'm just going to have everybody do big circles forward with their arms, loosening up their shoulders. Nice and easy. We're just getting that blood flowing for now, OK? My timer's down there, so if I'm constantly looking down, that's why. Uh, but we're going to do our best. All right, everybody, go backwards with those arms now. Really trying to get as much range and motion as you can comfortably, okay? <clears throat> oh, we're trying to get rid of that desk back and posture, opening up our chest a little bit. I know that everybody's working from home for the most part, so it's kind of nice to move around. All right, into our jumping jacks now, just going up, moving those arms, little hops, just getting that blood flow. Good, 10 more seconds. Good, next we're gonna go into our cross country. So one leg's gonna be in front, the other hand's gonna reach forward, and you're just gonna alternate. Almost like a really exaggerated run, or if you're a cross country skier, kind of like that. Yeah, just a few more seconds of this. And into our high knees. You don't have to go too fast, but try and get those knees up, getting that blood flowing. Yeah, this is just the warm up, getting loosened up, getting our bodies ready to work. Good, three, two, one, bring those heels up, butt kickers. <clears throat> Good, 20 seconds. Doing good, everybody. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Turn that down a little bit. Okay, so the next round, we're going to be doing more of our striking. So we're just going to start with a square stance. Typically, I would make you do one stance to the other. Uh, but with, I'm not sure if everybody has experience here. So we're going to start with a square stance, hands up. First round is going to be punches straight. Second round is going to be a cross. Third, we're going to combine it. Cross, one, two, across. 
Then we're going to add a front kick. So it's going to be one, two, front kick. Okay, try your best to balance. You don't have the kick too high, just as high as you can comfortably go. Okay, round after that is going to be one, two, side kick. And then the last round of that is going to be one, two, front, side. If you want to put your foot down, feel free. So if you want to go one, put it down, side, put it down, feel free. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and start with those straight punches, going straight ahead. Remember, we want to bring our hands back to our face. We don't want to droop them down. Keep them up. Just keep moving. Turn that fist all the way over. <clears throat> Okay, 10 more seconds. Good, now we're gonna bring those punches across. We wanna turn our outside heel just to get a little bit more turk. Once again, if anything's painful, go ahead and modify it as best you can, or just return back to the straight, straight punches. Good, keep moving. 10 more seconds. All right, we're gonna go one, two, and across now. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. Okay, keep moving as best as you can. Two, cross. Doing good, cross. One, two, cross. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna add that kick in. Good. All right, bring those straight back. Now we're gonna add that kick. We're gonna go one, two, front kick. One, two, knee up, kick. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. Remember to alternate legs, kick. One, two, kick, good. Two, kick. One, two, kick. One, just a few more seconds of this, we're gonna bring in that side kick. Kick, and three, two, one, change that kick to a side kick now. One, two, side. One, two, side. One, two, side. And this kick's more of a push. Just imagine that you're just kind of pushing a door open with your foot. Boom, just like that. Push. One, two, push. One, two, push. Good, almost there, push. One, two, push. Just a couple more seconds. And we're gonna add those two kicks at the same time, right now. Kick, side. You need to put it down a little, that's okay. Kick, side. Punch, punch, front kick, side kick. Punch, punch, front kick, side kick. Good, punch, punch, front kick, side kick. Almost there. Two, front, side. Boom, boom, front, side. Almost there, five more seconds. Keep moving. Boom, boom, good, and relax. Walk around, catch your breath if you need to. All right, so the next part we're gonna be working on a little bit more of our explosive power. So we're gonna start with lunges first. We're gonna take our hands, just keep them up. You're just gonna step forward, nice big step, bring it back, nice big step, bring it back. And if you follow MMA at all, this is almost like a forward takedown. So almost like you're trying to scoop someone up, okay? After that, we're gonna go into our side lunges, into our squats, and then we're gonna do something, you can just stick with squats if you want to, but we're gonna do something called a squat thrust, where it's gonna squat down, hands on the ground, and you're gonna kick your legs back, almost into a push-up position. I'll move back a little bit more so you can see me. Boom, boom, okay. Then the last one's gonna be our rear leg steps back. Bring that knee up into our runner lunge, okay? All right, let's start with those front lunges first. Stepping forward, coming back. Okay, big lunge forward, bring it back. Big lunge forward, bring it back. Keep those hands up. Keep your head up, try not to lean forward. And we don't wanna bring our knee past our toes. Good, three more seconds. Two, one, good. Side to side lunges now, still keeping that chest up. 
So if you step to the right, right knee bent, left leg straight, to the left, right knee straight, okay? Keep moving. 10 seconds. Good, now our air squats, just coming down and up. Almost like you're sitting into a chair or onto a toilet. So we wanna reach back with our hips and then come back up. I'm not really caring about how far you go down. If you wanna go all the way down, feel free. 10 more seconds and we're gonna change over to squat thrust. If you don't feel comfortable with the squat thrust, go ahead and just keep on doing squats. Three, two, one, squat thrust, hands down, kick those legs back, bring them up, stand up. Boom, down, up. Squat, hands down, push up position, bring them back. Good. Doing good, everybody. Push them out. Ten more seconds. Okay, now we're gonna take our right leg, step back, and then we're gonna bring that knee up and add a little bit of hop. Step back with that right leg, hop up, runner's lunge. Boom, boom, good. 15 seconds left. If you wanna step back a little bit more, hop a little bit higher, feel free. If you just wanna bring that knee up, that's also fine. All right, switch legs, left leg back, bring that knee up. Add that hop if you feel comfortable. Almost there. 15 seconds. And four, three, Two, and one, good. All right, so the next portion is gonna be on the floor. So I'm gonna bring it down. Hopefully you can hear me. So we're gonna do uh, some different kind of uh, core exercises and twisting exercise. Once again, if you don't feel comfortable, feel free to just stay back one side, one exercise, okay? So our first, this is gonna be mountain climbers. Bringing those knees up to our chest and back, okay? Next, we're gonna do something called a sit out. We're gonna take our leg, we'll start with our right leg, sit all the way through, you can bring that head up, bring that hip down, then come back, switch sides, okay? After that, we're gonna do a full sit out, all the way, bring that hand back. Bring it to the front, boom. Sit through, all the way, and back, okay? After that, we're gonna go into our hip bumps which is just bring your hips up, dip bug, and then our hollow hold. Now go over that once we get there, okay? Go ahead, hands down. Let's go ahead and do our mountain climbers. Bring that chest up. All right, this knees the chest. My apologies. Again, push them out. If you want to move faster, feel free. Keep that core nice and tight. 10 more seconds. Three. Two, one, good. Sitting all the way through now. Boom, into our hips, coming down. Then switch sides. Boom. Boom. Good. Boom. Doing good, everybody. Keep moving. Ten more seconds. No, I'm not. There we go. <laughs> Good, all the way through now. Take that hip in, all the way up. So my chest is facing up. Switch sides. Boom. Switch sides. Good, keep it up. <clears throat> 10 more seconds. Three. Two, one, we're gonna lay on our backs now. Taking our hips up, and we're just gonna bring our feet up, like so. 
If you are familiar with any type of grappling, you can also add in a figure four, as if you're shooting a triangle choke on somebody. Okay, keep it up. Three more seconds. Good, we're gonna bend those knees now. Hands up. We're gonna take one hand back, the opposite leg forward. And now we're just gonna alternate. This is called a dead bug. You wanna keep your core nice and tight. Just going back and forth. Almost there. Seven seconds left of this exercise. Three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to take both hands up, both feet forward, pulling our belly button into our spine, keeping those feet and hands off the floor into our hollow hole. Doing your best. If you need to put your feet down, feel free. 15 seconds. Almost there. Everybody has their mics muted. Can't hear if people are straining, but I'm definitely straining for two more seconds. And relax. Good. Take a little bit of breather. We're going to start our cool down, but we're going to start on the floor. Okay? All right. So, let's go ahead and we're going to start in our quadruped position. Hands nicely based, knees nicely based. And we're just going to start with a few cat cows. Just arching up back. Let your back dip down. Good. From here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise our hips up to the sky, like so, into our downward dog. And we're just going to alternate pressing our heels into the floor. It's back and forth, nice and easy. Good. From here, we're going to take our right foot forward, like so, keeping that left knee on the floor. We're going to take our left hand down to the floor, right hand up, holding that position. Remember to breathe. Hold. Good. And relax. We're going to take that foot back once more, raising our hips up into the air. Doing a few more, pressing our heels down in our downward dog. We're going to go ahead and take that left foot forward now. Taking that left hand up. And you should really feel a deep stretch right hand's opposite hip that's facing the floor. Good, coming back down. Coming back into that quadruped position, we're going to keep our hands where we are, and we're going to sit back, walk our hands forward just a little bit to really extend that back as if you're pulling your spine apart, giving it space. All right, coming back up, we're going to go ahead and stand up. There we go. All right. And from here, we're just going to bring those hands together. We're going to sink our palms down, elbows up. From here, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to interlock our fingers, push our hands out, palms facing us for now, and really rounding out our back. You should feel a stretch in between your shoulder blades. Good, taking those palms forward, reaching up, moving side to side. Good, taking a deep breath in, letting go, bringing your hands down to your knees, hips back until you feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings. Almost like you're making a right triangle with your body. All right, standing up nice and tall. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take 
that left leg, grab on, so you feel that stretch in your quad. If you need to hang on to something, feel free. And if you're not hanging on to something, taking that opposite hand and reaching up as high as you can. Good, go ahead and switch sides now. Just hold, remembering to breathe, feeling that nice stretch in your quads, breathing all the way down to our bellies, letting your bellies expand and letting it all out. Good, all right, let's finish up with some deep breathing. We're gonna go ahead, reach overhead, breathing in through our nose, down to our bellies. Pause. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right, everybody. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, I hope you guys had fun and uh, I hope you got a good workout. Um, I'll be opening up my time. so. Uh, feel free to give me a ring if you want. Alrighty. Thanks everybody for joining me. Thank you, Elon. That was great. I hope everybody enjoyed that. Uh, we got to thank you very much. Hope everybody's feeling great. I look like a tough workout. The <laughs> the floor series is a little, a little intimidating, huh? I'm glad you guys you it? <laughs> got, glad you guys got through it. Um, please feel free to reach out to Elon in the app. Find him. Um, we will be sending out an email with a link for 30 free minutes if you don't have um, access through your company. If you would like access through your company, feel free to reach out to us and we can hopefully speak to your company about getting Task Human in there as well. Um, I'm glad you guys got a good workout. Good. Um, yeah, please feel free to find Elon, get some more personalized workouts with him, martial arts related, boxing related, hit anything you guys want. You know, I'm sure he can throw some good stuff at you. So feel free to find him. And the link that I sent out, again, you can uh, put your phone number in, download the app, get 30 free minutes, use all 30 on Elon, use 10 on Elon, use 20 on Elon, however much you want. Um, he is there for you. So thank you all for joining and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye.